Good morning, Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. I have a nice Dollar Tree haul for you today. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start up front with the Valentine's Day. I was so excited to find these. I did see them online on dollartree.com and was hoping that my store would get them. And when I went in, the box was open but they hadn't started to put them out so I was able to get one of each of them. And I really do like them. These are tin and they are garden stakes, but they also have a attachment here. So if you wanted to hang it or put it onto a wreath, you have a place to tie it on there, which I'm very happy about. And I really like the color tones that they did in these. And these are also the, the hearts are kind of outlined and puffy. They did a beautiful job on these. And let's see, the size of this one is about six inches by nine. I also found this one, Be Mine. This one is about seven and a half inches by six and a half inches. And these are absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna put a couple of these in my yard and the others I'm going to use on wreaths. They will do really nice. We still have a lot of rain and cold in February. So these will be nice to put on a wreath that's going to be outside. I also found this adorable little trailer. Happy Valentine's Day. This one measures about 9 inches by 6. Dollar Tree also got in some really adorable little trucks. They had three that I found. And all of these are brand new this year. I did not see any of these last year. And their trucks uh, average about 10 inches by 5. I like this one, it says struck by love, love you more. I also found this one that says heartbreaker, a nice bright pink truck. And I think this one's probably my favorite out of the trucks and it says follow your heart. I like that soft pink with the nice red and dark pink hearts in the back and it says XOXO. Now I was really excited to see Dollar Tree got back in these picks. They had them last year. I know that a lot of people had a hard time finding them last year, so hopefully it'll be easier this year. They do come with like an alligator clip down here on the end. So this is nice. Uh, you can clip it into other projects, maybe clip it into a plant or a floral arrangement just to use for that year and then unclip it. You can also just put them in a temporary wreath Maybe uh, you don't like to keep your wreaths and you take them apart after each season. This would be a nice find. So I did find this in the nice pretty pink here. And I also found it in that traditional red. Now they are very glittered. And they did have another one uh, that looks like this. It had these hearts and then it also had some hearts that had a hollow center. But these are a wonderful find for the Dollar Tree for $1.25. In a regular craft stores, these will run about $3.95 and up. I also found these beautiful heart picks. They're very glittery and sparkly. They're nice and large. Let's see. They are about 5 inches in height and about 5 inches in width absolutely gorgeous so I did find it in the beautiful red and this really pretty pink and then I also found this one with the solid heart now these are brand new this year they did not have them last year and of course it also comes in the pink but I really like the size of these they'll make a beautiful statement in a nice wreath or centerpiece I also picked up two of their large wooden hearts. Now the hearts that they get here for Valentine's Day are a little bit larger than the ones that they normally carry in the Crafter Square section. So you might want to grab a couple just to have in your stash because this is the only time of year you can find the large ones. 
Now this was a really nice find. This is a wood bead heart wreath. I really like that. I like the shape. It's not too large. I did go ahead and pick up two of them. I was thinking of doing a specific craft with these. And I really like them. For $1.25, I think that's a great deal. You know, it's really kind of hard to string your own beads into a wreath, so it's nice that they have these. And I've also found them in just a round wreath. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun crafting with these for Valentine's Day. Now, I do believe they had these last year, and uh, they have them again this year. They are their felt floral uh, roses, and I like them. They're a good size. They're nice and compact. I had a craft project in mind for these, so I did pick up one piece, and you have to get four roses in each package. They did have a couple different colors to choose from. I also grabbed another package of these red glittered puffed hearts. I really like these. 24 do come in a package. I use these quite a bit on my wreaths. They make a really nice little extra embellishment. And I was almost out of the red, so I did grab another package. Now in the Valentine's Day section, I did pick up several rolls of this white with the red stripe. I grabbed six. I liked that they came in the Valentine's Day section. This is their mesh and it is six inches by five yards. Now I also needed some white mesh so I went over to their regular floral section and pulled out some white mesh. Now this is green so this came out of the Christmas section. I got these for 50 cents and I did pick up six in the white. Another nice find was that uh, they had a lot of the Christmas ribbon left over and I needed solid red. They hadn't put out any of the two and a half inch Valentine's Day ribbon yet in any of my stores. So I did find this over in the regular section for Christmas and I found this one which is just basically your flat red. It is not translucent and it has just a little bit of glitter on it. And these are all two and a half inches at nine feet. And then this one I really like. This is much more of a satiny and shiny ribbon. I thought that was really pretty. And these again were only 50 cents each. So make sure to check over in the regular section and see if they have any leftover red ribbon for Christmas. Because in my stores, all of the Christmas stuff is 50 cents. I also picked up some of the lace ribbon. And I think that's really pretty. It has a nice little heart shape there for the lace and you do get 1.3 yards. I did grab two. I have a specific project in mind for these. Now this was also a new find for the Valentine's Day section this year. And I actually really like this. I have a lot of ideas on how to redo this. So I did grab one and uh, <laughs> it had a little rhinestone down here that's already popped off. And as you can see, that's not on there very good. So I'm really excited about redoing this. I'm not real hip of the tinsel, but I think we can turn this into an absolutely gorgeous DIY. Another new item this year is Dollar Tree came out with a Valentine's Day tree. It's pink with a white base. Ah, it's a pretty pink. I like that, I like that color a lot. Now, I picked up three of these. I wasn't sure if I was gonna need two or three of them. I do have a craft project in mind for these that I'm going to be doing this, hopefully this week, if not next. And I didn't know if I needed two or three of them, so I grabbed three just to be safe, but I really like that color. They don't look like they're very thick, not even as thick as the normal Christmas trees, but that's okay, that's why I grabbed three just in case. But yeah, I think that's really pretty. I like that color a lot. And the base there to stand is white. So very pretty. Brand new this year for Dollar Tree. I did pick up a couple of their long signs and I really like this one. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. And it says, love you more. But I really like the way that they did the love. Now I have a idea on how to do this and it's something new that I have not done in the past so I'm excited to get to this craft as well. 
And I absolutely love this sign too. It says, love the journey with the bicycles. I really like how they did the background with the pink and white slats. I think it's very pretty. The graphics on this one is very nice. Perfect color tones for Valentine's Day. Now that was all of the Valentine's Day items that I picked up at my store this week. They were just starting to put out some of the St. Patrick's Day items. So I did grab some of their mesh. Now I really like the striped mesh, especially when I do the bubble or poof method. I think it comes out absolutely gorgeous. So I did pick up uh, six rolls, but I was really happy to find these. And these are still six inches at five yards. They also had put out uh, their St. Patrick's Day ribbon, the two and a half inch. So they have this really pretty dark green. I really like that. They also have this one that has that faux burlap background and it says Lucky <laughs> and some really cute little uh, shamrocks there. I really like that. Now all of their ribbon is two and a half inches at nine feet. Now, I believe they had something similar like this last year. I like the simplicity, that white background with the light and dark shamrocks and then the edge here is trimmed in a really pretty dark shimmery green. Now this one I don't remember from last year. This one says St. Patrick's Day, and I like that. I think this would look really pretty on like a swag so that you could read that St. Patrick's Day as it moves down on the swag. So I thought that was really pretty. I grabbed a couple rolls of this. And the last ribbon that I picked up was this one, and I believe this one is also brand new this year. And I love those stripes, and I like the colors, that orange, white, dark green, and light green. Very, very pretty. It was so exciting to see some new signs for St. Patrick's Day. This is brand new this year. I do not remember seeing this at all last year. And I like this little icon in the center. That's the main reason why I purchased this. But I also like the outside. I think that's pretty. But I love that it says, Happy St. Patrick's Day. This would be really nice on a wreath as an embellishment. So they had two like this to choose from. This was the first one. And this was the second one. I like the little hat here that says welcome. I purchased something similar like this last year from Party City and let me tell you it was not $1.25. But I think this is really adorable. Again, I do like the outside, but the main reason why I purchased this was for this guy right here in the center. Now that was all of the St. Patrick's Day items I picked up on this trip. I did find some brand new fairy garden items. They did get in some by the sea items. They had three different ones like this to choose from, but I just picked this one up. I really liked the seahorse. They also had one that was done on a rock that had a squid on the top and another one that had a mermaid. But this was my favorite, so I grabbed him. And then this was new, some of their figures. And this is a cute little rowboat with a pelican. I like that. And I don't remember this one from last year. I believe it's brand new. Look at what I scored on. Oh, isn't that adorable? I believe this is brand new this year. And I think it is so adorable. Now this comes out of their regular fairy gardens. And I think it's so cute. I love the like three little mushrooms there or flowers. I think it's so pretty. I love the color tones. Very sweet. And then this was also a surprise. Now this is a nice size. Okay, so that's the fairy house size and it's, this figure is the same size as the house. And I really like this. It's a pretty tree that's in bloom and it has a little fairy here on a swing that's on jute cord there to swing. I thought this is perfect. What a nice item to add to your fairy garden. I think they did a good job. They had several new larger pieces this year. I also found this one, which I thought was really interesting. I'm gonna take him out because you really need to see the detail on this. It has a little face. Isn't that beautiful? I really like that. Even just to decorate the base of one of my pots in the house, I like to do that sometimes, take some of the fairy garden items and just place them in the bottom of one of my larger pots. I really like that guy. 
And he comes with another little piece here. It's a little mushroom house on a stand, like a bird house, but it's a mushroom. I think that's adorable. Really nice new pieces this year in the fairy garden. Now that was all of the items I got in the fairy garden this trip. And I did just pick up like a couple items over in the crafter square section. I did find these really pretty pop up stickers. I absolutely love sunflowers and I really like the butterfly here in the center. Really nice design and I believe these are brand new this year. I do not remember seeing them in the past. And you do get 10 pieces in this package. Another new item I found over in the Crafter Square section are these beautiful beads. I really like the color combinations. You get beige, black, and white. And then you get a couple of these really pretty white and black buffalo check beads. I like those a lot. I think they're very pretty. This would be nice as a decor piece on maybe a tiered tray or a little side table or riser. Also, it's nice you can take it apart and use it on another craft. So I did grab a couple of these. In the hardware section, I just picked up this one item of packing tape. I didn't have any left in the house, so I needed some, so I just grabbed one. And let's see, you get 45 yards. This was a nice surprise to find over in the beauty section. Now, you know I like the Freeman products. I use several of them and I've always been very happy with their masks and this is Empower Hour. You get a four piece mask kit. So in here you get four different masks. You get an energizing lemongrass rich cream mask, a clarifying botanical extracts peel off glitter mask, a hydrating strawberry bouncy jelly mask and a calming lavender lush cream mask. How fun is that? So you get four treatments in one package for $1.25. What a nice find. Keep your eyes open for this ladies. You're gonna wanna try it. This was also a new find that I found over in the uh, kind of beauty section. This is by Armor Hammered, a brand name, 12 fluid ounces. And this is their Essentials with Natural Baking Soda Moisturizing Shower Gel. It says with moisturizing aloe vera and this scent is orange blossom. I also found it in a juniper berry. But I just picked this one up to try to see how my skin uh, reacts to it. It is paraben free, vegan and cruelty free, which I like. And it is manufactured in the USA. And of course, since winter is here and the rainy season and the cold is here, I had to pick up a couple more boxes of Kleenex or tissues. So uh, I like these. I'm really happy. This one is the Pups brand. They're nice and soft, so why not? I'll pay $1.25 instead of $2.95 or $3.56 at the store. Now I was really excited. I found some more of my favorite Harry and David Moose Munch Premium Popcorn and this time I found it in the milk chocolate. I did pick up about three or four packages and I'm very happy that they come in a small package. This is the only way I can have um, <laughs> portion control. If this came in a big bag, I'd just eat the whole big bag in one sitting. This way I don't feel too guilty because this bag is only 2.5 ounces. <laughs> but I love this and I found it in three different flavors. I found it in just the original caramel corn. I found it with milk chocolate and also with dark chocolate and they are all good. If you like um, premium popcorn, you'll wanna look for these in your store. I was very excited to see they finally got in more of the sugar-free monster energy drinks. These are very hard to find. They come and go. The flavors do tend to change. Now they had this probably about six months ago. This is the Ultra Paradise and I like this flavor. It's not too bad. And it definitely gives me that boost of energy. And like I said, there's no sugar. There is only 10 calories per can and you get a nice dose of B vitamins in there. So it's not just caffeine. You also get vitamins in these. So this is one of my favorites that Dollar Tree carries, which is the Monster. 
And then I was really happy to find some more of these. This is another one that I really like. This is called Positive Energy Zero Sugar. And this one is the Tropical Bliss. It also comes in watermelon and I do like both of them. This is natural clean energy. It is immunity boosting with vitamin C and zinc. It also has a nice dose of B vitamins in it. Uh, I do like these when I have a really busy day ahead. I have my normal one cup of coffee in the morning and then maybe an hour or two later I have one of these and I am good to go all day. <laughs> so I was so happy to find these again at Dollar Tree. It is very difficult for me to find ones that are sugar free that I actually like the flavors. So thank you so much for carrying these Dollar Tree. I like them. Well thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this week's Dollar Tree haul. Because Dollar Tree is getting in so many wonderful new items, I am going to be doing two hauls a week for a couple weeks until I can show you all the brand new items that are coming. I have been controlling myself when I go, so I've been purchasing smaller amounts. So the hauls will be a little bit shorter, but you're going to get two each week. And I'm shooting for Tuesdays and Fridays to do uh, hauls. Most of them will be from Dollar Tree and occasionally I will sneak in a haul from a different store. Thanks again for stopping by. It's always a pleasure to see you. If you enjoy shopping hauls, make sure to check these out. Have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video.